Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam and today we are going to be doing a fun video where I am going to be unboxing a package that I have received. I've been really, really looking forward to this game. Um, man, I have just been, this is the first game that we're going to be unboxing on the channel because I think I know this one's going to be just an awesome unboxing. Um, with that being said, I've got my cup of coffee, so I'm ready. I've also got my awesome sword. And then I've got my pocket knife. And we're just gonna dive right in. We're gonna get started opening up this. Uh, let's get the box broken up here. Let's see. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. We're getting closer. We're getting closer and closer. By the minute. Once we get this box out of the way, I think we'll be in an even better position. Okay. Good old pack and slip. What do we got? Oh, it's heavier than I thought, which is a good sign because that's awesome. Oh, yes. Look at that beaut. Holy moly. Oh, wow. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be <laughs> quite a bit bigger. Uh, we've also got the sleeves here as well, which is awesome. And the old metal coins, which I'm so glad I was able to get. Okay, I'm going to throw this box is out now. Goodbye. All right, so time to get into whew, this box. Oh, I'm so excited about this game. So, wow, it just looks so beautiful. Just looks so dang good. Uh, so this is a one to six player game. It says 90 to 240 minutes. Holy moly. Uh, age is uh, 14 plus. It's kind of a, it's a heavier game for sure. Um, and it is an interactive historical game about the rise and the fall of the British uh, East Tr India Trading Company. Um, this is going to be the designer of Root, Oath, Pax Pamir. Uh, pretty much, he's my favorite designer of all time. So this is one of the reasons why I wanted to be the one to like unbox this on the channel and have this game really be that first unboxing that we have on here. So let's dive into this. I wonder if this box lift that it has on here, I wonder if um, that's going to stay or if there is a way to kind of package it all. Mano Banano, is this a beaut though? Holy moly. Making a huge mess. Okay, so let's, let's open this up and see what's inside here. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, all right. So we've got a lot going on. So we have got some in this first bag. Let's just, I wonder where the rule book is. Usually that's on the top. In this first bag, we've got the scoring markers, I think in all the player colors. So six player colors. We got purple, pink, green, blue, yellow, and a kind of white. So I know Kate's gonna be taking the white. We've got these brown cubes. It's all nice. Red cubes, uh, colored cubes, very, very nice. And some pawns here that come in red, black, and a silver pawn. I'm kind of afraid that I'm gonna make like a huge mess of everything. So I'm actually gonna, actually gonna throw all that in there. And since this is kind of my first foray into like unboxing and such, I kind of want to know, these are way bigger than I thought these were. So these are the family member tokens. I think I know that. So um, each player basically runs a family in the game and they're going to be kind of running a company, John Company, together. Um, so it's kind of like semi-cooperative, but also not really at all. Um, because, you know, there's only one winner at the end of the day. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, look at that. These are awesome. Oh, yes. Let's see if that camera can see it right there. Looking really nice. Love that color too. Uh, looking really, really darn good here. Oh, wow. I love it. I love the screen print of these too. They just look really nice. And they look like there's a ton of different screen prints. So they're kind of a nice size as well. 
and in all the all the different player colors. So we've got kind of a, a nice amount of player colors there. Okay, what do we got here? So these are, I know that these signify like um, India's power. So these are kind of cool because they segment. Oh gosh. So these will have like, you know, two segments here. You can lock them like that and then you can lock them like that. And then these caps in here can be placed on top of those to create these kind of structures, which I believe signify the strength of empire, or sorry, the empires that you might encounter. So that's really, really cool. This unboxing experience is so much weirder than I thought it was gonna be because all these components are right at the top. So I, I kind of assumed that I would have like some, uh, you know, breathing room with the rule book right on the top, but nope, nope, nope. Uh, so there's a lot of these tokens here. Um, we've got some more sleeves, which I'm excited to dive in and figure out what we're going to be sleeving here. Some nice token holders as well. Um, and if you don't know, if you don't know anything about the channel or anything here, I really love historical board games. I've been getting into them so much more this year too. Uh, like especially this year. I'm still working on a, on a kind of a long project video of just like my journey into the wargaming scene. Um, yeah, eventually it's gonna come out. Oh gosh, okay, so this is all segmented. Ah, we're getting to the rule book here, but first, actually, yeah, let's, let's get to the, let's get to the paper. Okay. Oh wow, this is so whack, man. I feel like I'm doing a the, the weirdest unboxing I've ever done. Ooh, yes. I love the size of these rule books. Oh my gosh. Publishers, please. All rule books this size right here. It's perfect. You can kind of put it to the side a little bit. It's just wonderful. It's not overbearing, you know? Um, but let's look at what we've got in here. Um, okay, nice. So we've got... It looks like a lot of different pictures, which is great because more pictures, the better. Uh, I've got all the India pieces. We haven't even seen this elephant yet, but I would like to see that. Um, we haven't looked at the money yet. Player pieces here. Yep, 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 the family pieces. Okay. Yeah, this is looking really, really good. Uh, I love the artwork. Yeah, and you know, I think it's kind of interesting with this game because it is, um, I've kind of read some of the design diaries and such, and it's really a critique on what was happening because I feel like a lot of people will definitely not feel completely comfortable playing, you know, one of many owners of a terrible company that did terrible things. But the game at the end of the day is very educational in the fact that you can really see kind of some of the decisions and it just kind of all the things that people kind of did of that time and, and really how terrible it was for one, but also how easy it was that they could have just failed at any moment. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, this is cool. So this is a crown handbook. I don't know what this is. Let's see. The crown's voting plan. Let's see here. So the crown handbook looks like kind of a compendium of sorts. Yeah, it looks like that. So if you are a chairman, they tell you kind of things to do. If the crown is chairman, no, maybe this is something else. Director of trade. So they have all these uh, different positions that you can be within the company. It looks like they're going over what each one does. I'm not positive that that's the case, but I think that that might be. Um, very awesome artwork there. I love it. But yeah, it's kind of a critique on the whole thing. This is definitely not praising it at all. And I'm sure there is, let's see. Oh, this is awesome. Um, so this is like all the events that can happen in India. You can kind of see the whole deal kind of play. Wow, there's so much like helpful aid stuff in this, which is awesome because I'm probably going to need it. This seems to be kind of a kind of a kind of a big game here. So this is kind of interesting. So they have uh, kind of like a note to the player. Uh, basically saying that this is a really big game that can be digested slowly. Uh, and it basically gives you framework on how to approach kind of getting into the game. They also give you a suggested 
uh, tray storage organization, which seems really cool. And then also some notes on how to actually play the game and teach it, which I think is really cool. Uh, basically giving the options of rolling teach and also just teaching it flat out, which I'd probably never recommend. If you are interested in seeing a really good playthrough of this game um, with real players making real decisions with a live table and the live actual board game, um, you can check out Heavy Cardboard. They do amazing work over there and they did a playthrough with Cool Whirly himself. I would really highly recommend checking that out. I'm gonna be watching it a couple of times just to kind of get an idea of how the game is because I'm really the, I'm like the primary person that does, you know, all the teaching, so. It will be helpful. Okay, so we've got some cards. Got some nice little cards here. Let's see what these are. Let's check these out. Oh, wowza. Okay, so I believe these are, I could be wrong in saying what this is called, but I want to say these are luxuries. Like I said, I'm gonna be butchering a lot of the terminology here. They, the artwork's really nice. I really like this. So this looks like scenario pieces. Um, some of the scenario setup cards, I believe. So the setup in the game is kind of weird. You get like three cards and then you place all your things with those and gain all that money on those three cards. So it's completely random. You're set up every game. Um, yep. Shipyards. We've got workshops and yeah, some more setup cards. And then, oh, no. So these are luxuries. So these are just basically assets of some sort. So we've got shipyards. We've got workshops. We've got luxuries. Okay. Really cool looking and the artwork's great. And then, you know, all those setup cards. It's very, very nice. And what do we got in here? We've got some more. Goodness gracious, there is a lot of stuff. I really didn't, maybe, maybe this was a bad idea to have this be the first game that I'm doing an unboxing for, who knows? Let me know if you're enjoying the video, if you've made it to this point here. Firm strategy. I don't know what these cards are, but it seems like there's a lot of them. Up oh, some more, I believe, random setup cards. A lot of just kind of one-off cards, it seems. I'm not really sure what these are. Oh, you know what? These are, um, oh, that's what these are. So these are basically cards that you can make deals with. Uh, so you can like, you know, say like, oh, I'll do this for you, but you have to give me uh, this card, kind of like in Twilight Imperium. I forgot what the cards are called in that either, but basically you can just use them for deal making. And essentially it's like a debt that you owe to that person. Um, so like one of them is like, uh, you know, you have to give two, um, two money uh, to a person and, um, or sorry, you give two money to a person, but then you might ask for a debt that they have to pay you back two money at any time during the rest of the game, essentially, which I think is really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, so these, man, I really love the colors of this so far. It just looks really gorgeous. I am uh, very, very excited. Oh, I love when they have these for cards. Um, sometimes they'll have like the, actually, you know what? Sometimes a knife's just better. Eh. Okay, all good here. Making our way through the cards. I didn't expect it to be so crazy. All right, so we've got these, I believe these are the, I don't actually know what these are. These are, okay, so these are the position. Uh, so when you're a position like the chairman or the director of trade, or the manager of shipping, or the military leader of military affairs, or president of Bombay, Madras, or Bengal, or the governor, or any of this stuff, you basically get the card, and then the card tells you what you can do at that position during that point of the game. So that's what these are, and the artwork looks really, really great. I love it. Ah, so nice. Those look like setup cards. Yep, so these are game setup cards for the three different, um, uh, modes of play, uh, 1710, 1758, and then 1813. I'm not really sure what these are. Oh, these are company failure cards. So these will determine um, negative victory points for a certain thing in the company if uh, the company ends up failing at the end of the game. Um, and these look like AI cards. I could be totally wrong, but they look like what I would think are AI cards or some sort of deal there. And then these right here, these are 
black blackmail 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 cards so these are kind of like evil cards that you can play against your opponents which is pretty sweet got that oh boy we've got more cards i'm making it oh man you know some of these are easier than others and that is all i am going to say okay let's check this out Oh boy, we've got so many cards. I wonder if these will fit sleeves. I really hope they will because I sleeve all my cards. I don't know, we'll see. So these are some of the, I know that this is like good stuff that you can get. I don't know what they're called, but I know that these, um, you essentially get these when one of your uh, family members actually retires. There's like a pool of cards and these are what they are. So sometimes you might get a spouse that might bring a, a benefit for the rest of the game, but also have kind of a disadvantage as well. Sometimes it seems like everything in this game has advantages and disadvantages, and that might be kind of a part of the real play style. But I think this artwork's funny because it's like very, um, it's like mocking this time period in a way, which I think is is great because, you know, these people were terrible at the end of the day. <laughs> um so these are kind of really cool. I think this, yeah, this is all the same stuff. So Foundry, Stockbroker, Social Magazine. So this is all just stuff that you can get as a reward, essentially, which I think is cool. And then I believe these are laws that can be passed. There is a whole law system. And if a law is passed, it will stay in the game forever. Just so much. This is like literally a simulation for running a company. Like, I don't think... That's like the craziest thing ever. I, I'm just so stoked to play this game. Goodness gracious. Very, very cool. All right. And then we've got the India event cards, which I think it's kind of, I don't know about circle cards. I think it's creative, but oh, these are not cards. Oh, shucks. Oh, these are way nicer than cards. Oh my word, I love this. Never mind, I take it back. I don't like circle cards, but so, so uh, circle tiles I can get down with any day. So the way that this deck works is really cool. Um, let me see if I can remember. So yeah, so basically um, each of these backs represents a different uh, state in India, essentially. And when you flip one of these cards, you'll do this effect but you'll do it in this area. So in this case, Bengal. And then if we flip this one, it's like, oh, then this effect happens in Bengal. And that can change, you know? You might flip this and it's like, oh, turmoil in Punjab, you know? So I think that's kind of cool. Uh, turmoil in Maratha. So I really like the way that that um, is built. You're just flipping these cards. This kind of reminds me of a coin system, similar-esque to uh, a coin game there. I've also got these sweet dice. Let's check these out. I know that uh, there's a dice system in this game for basically all success and failures for most things. You have to get a low number. You're looking for like ones or twos in order to succeed. And there's basically all the things are resolved the same, which is kind of nice. Um, but these dice are really, really cool. Looking really nice. Wow. Um, we also got this big dice and I'm not, I think this, this looks like a weather dice that would like affect, um, I believe this is the one that like affects boats. Sometimes boats can die and such that are out there trying to trade. So very cool. I'm gonna put them right back into here. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this all back uh, the way that I, that I took it. I've also got these. Okay, so here's some smaller components in here. Um, I know that these flags right in here, there's little metal flags. And these metal flags, I'm not going to open these because they're so nice and small, but these metal flags come in gold, silver, and bronze. And these go on the top of these, uh, basically, I believe these are power or empire, like I said, buildings. You put them on the top on the, uh, the caps here. Um, so they'll have like a flag, and I think that depends on whether it's an empire or not. So very cool. I'm not going to open those just because they look so small and metal, and I just want to be, you know, completely safe here. All right, let's see what else what do we have in here. We have got the elephant that I was talking about earlier. <gasps> oh, this is very nice. It looks really good, too. Look at that. That is so freaking nice. I love it. I love this. I love this so much. Put that right back in. 
And we have got these, I believe these are just action markers, standard. Um, when you do an action, you put it on there, and then if it's still on there in the next turn, you do a family action, you basically get to do that family action twice. That's nice. Dude, there's so many components to this game, it's kind of insane. Um, kind of insane. This is making like Gaia Project look a little small, you know? <laughs> Cole, what are you doing to me, man? I don't have enough room for all this stuff. Okay, so we made it through all of that stuff. I'm gonna set that over here. And I'm gonna take some drink of coffee. Mm. That was a really big drink, holy crap. I swear I'm okay. <laughs> okay, this board looks like it's gonna be pretty big. It's a six fold, so, uh ha. That's probably why it's so packed as well. Oh wait, maybe not, because the, the coins were on the outside, but I was gonna say, I don't actually need all the room for these coins. Like that's all gonna be broken down. We'll be all good. So I think it will be able to close at the end of the day. I do want to try and show off some of what this board looks like here. Okay, we're gonna need some more room. Holy moly, it's big. Six-fold board, come on. Cole, it's huge, man. Okay, that is, whoo! I don't know how much the, the top overhead camera right now is picking up, but gorgeous looking. We've got India right here. We've got all the offices for uh, Bombay, Madras, and Bengal. We've got all the offices like the chairman, the director of trade, shipping, military, Bombay, Madras, Bengal. Um, and the coolest part, I like this, it's a, it's a nice subtle touch, but I'm gonna push everything over because I want to show you when you have a family member that is in charge of a certain office, essentially, you go into that office like so. So now this pink player would basically be the manager of shipping, which I think is kind of nice. I'll move along on there, which is kind of cool. Uh, I believe retirement, at some point you'll go here somewhere. There's a court of directors. This is wild, dude, absolutely wild. And if you're on these offices as uh, the leader of one of them, you can go like that. And I know the turn tracker is kind of cool. So this is the rounds. Um, so you'll have a certain number of rounds depending on what type of game you're playing. And then you've also got um, like all of the different, uh, basically, what's it called? Not rounds, phases of the game. And you basically have one of those pawns that just goes along that track and then goes down and then goes along that track and then goes down, which I think is really nice. And it looks great. This this board feels great too. If it, I wish you were here to feel it because it's, it's feeling real nice right now. Um, I'm gonna try to fold this up. Beep boop. Okay. I would love to have it out the whole time, but I just don't have the space. So let's see what's in this box. Let's see what else we got here. It looks like we've got some of the family boards in here. That's what it's looking like. Ooh, that inlaid pattern. So nice. Look at that, gorgeous. So we've got a lot of tokens. I'm not gonna undo all of these tokens, but I will look through all this with you. So we've got the Hastings family. Um, that reminds me of Bridgerton. I swear there's a Hastings family in that. Hate that show. Uh, but we got the, the Hastings family there. We've got the Benyon family. I might be saying that wrong. We've got the Paxton family. We've also got these, which are filled orders. And we've got these, which are like the first time, I believe, that you trade successfully to an area, you get that token. We've got the Larkins family. It's yellow. The Walsh family. And this also has boats, which I think is cool because each of these boats actually has an individual name. Um, so like if you have a boat, you can sell that boat, and it's your boat kind of deal. And you can basically trade anything in this game as well, by the way, which I think is a cool little touch. We've got the Sykes family, that sounds whack. They sound like a wild card, I don't trust the Sykes, you know? Um, and then we've also got these like military tokens as well and some other tokens as well. <laughs> There's so much, so much to this game, goodness gracious. Uh, the crown, I have no idea what the crown climate is. I wonder if this is, oh, this is, this is for the firm, which is the full game. 
Interesting. Okay. And we've also got some company ships as well there. And yes, this is like the, the, the law board. So when you're trying to pass laws, there's a little arm that goes in here, right, right here. Can't wait to make that. And it basically spins around. Uh, I'm very excited that that just looks awesome. This, this all looks very, very, very cool. Wow. So that was, that is, that is everything that was inside of this box, which is kind of insane. I don't really know if I want to put it all back in right now because I feel like I've got a lot of work to do. All the work is just piling up around here, literally piling up around here. But I do want to look at something and that something is, goodness, I just made a mess of this. I made a mess. It's fine. I wanted to look at these metal coins. This was something that I bought when I backed the Kickstarter. Um, but they do not come standard with the game, but I believe they're going to be on their website. And these look great. Um, I forgot what they, what did they call? Pounds. These would be co considered pounds, I believe. So let's look at these. Wow, they feel really nice. Ooh, They have like a nice little like old look to them too. Like they don't look like brand new coins. They look a little dirty, you know? They, these look used. Like somebody out there was buying something and they paid with these <laughs> as money does as money. Yeah, that's that's what money does. Goodness gracious. Lastly, this is not going to be very interesting, so I'm not going to dive into it, but we've got sleeves as well. And I'm going to be eventually sleeving this entire game. It's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this. Um, this was a lot uh, of stuff. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it made you interested in this game that I am also interested in, um, which I'm glad I finally got it. But this is everything. Goodness gracious. There's a lot here. And also the rule books. Um, so yeah, this looks like just like a really bad mishmash of stuff. <laughs> but that is John Company. That is the most um, unorganized, terrible unboxing ever. But I'm so glad that I did it because it was really fun. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. And if you did, um, let me know. Maybe I can do more unboxings on the channel. I might streamline a, a way to set this uh, this whole thing up. That way I can do with some more unboxings. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this whole thing. If you have not already, I would really appreciate it if you have subscribed. Like 80% of you watch my videos but are not subscribed. Subscribing is free. It really doesn't get that much in the way of your regular uploads, so I would really appreciate it if you would. It would really help me out. But that is it for today's video, friends. Um, that is John Company. Um, I am gonna go ahead and probably spend the next hour trying to pack all this back into the box, but um, I will see you later. Let's go ahead and drop the beat. <laughs>